Okay, second test with the tube. We've cut bigger holes in it. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's a very windy day. But I'm doing this more to test the pressure rating. It does seem like the larger holes are helping the fog to come out a little more easily. Kind of hard to get an exact notion of what it'll look like in calm day. You can see there we are getting quite a bit more pressure at the far end. Alrighty. Okay, for our next test we're going back to our old friend the garbage bag. I'm trying to see if I can just uh, get the stuff to come out a little more easily. Maybe not as diffuse an area, but uh, we'll see if the pressure problem is less so with this configuration. That's Another good thing about this setup is that the fog will continue to keep coming out of the bag um, as the leftovers cycle through the cooling system. Whereas that doesn't seem to happen quite as much with the tube. Downside of this setup is that uh, the unit is obviously much more noticeable. Uh, whereas when it's off in the corner, I could always drape some black cloth over it or something to make it not stand out, whereas if I have it right here, I could possibly move it over to here, but... Alright, here we go. Hmm, that was a pretty wimpy burst. One of the things I'm dealing with is that I have a pretty low-end fog machine, 400 watt, and it can't really sustain these bursts of five or six seconds more than, oh, four times in a row before it uh, loses power and needs to shut off for a few minutes to recycle. But, uh, let's see how that goes. Alright. I see that's looking nice and thick. Again, we have a very windy day here, so... I don't know. It's still a tough call, which, uh, which method is going to be work best, the bag or the tube?